one thing I was thinking about this morning is is uh, how do we actually train ourselves? Like how does how does training actually happen? And uh, it's kind of a good reflection because we might have all these ideals like I want to learn this, I want to learn that, I want to I want it all. I want to I need to know all the chanting. I need to know how to meditate. I need to get the jhanas. I need to do this and this and this and this and this and that. And uh, so there's uh, all these things we need to do. <clears throat> and uh, and then maybe something gets pointed out to us and we feel terrible. And then we sulk around for a week or so and feel start to feel better after about a week. And then, and then we still can't kind of reform our behavior. It's still kind of difficult. And and uh, I can only speak from my own experience, but like I found that uh, if if say like something gets pointed out to me, um, and I end up like holding on to resentment or getting in kind of a state of just moping around, then uh, I tend to not be able to reform that behavior. That getting into that state, putting myself in that state, keeps me from actually reforming that behavior. But then when I uh, and it took years to learn this, but like, give, if I get something pointed out to me, if I give rise to a sense of, like, uh, not really joy, but like a sense of like, like wholesome sense of purpose, and it kind of is, ha- it is connected with joy in a sense, but like a, a sense of like, okay, that was that was incorrect. Let's let's do this. Let's let's be more in line with Dhamma Vinaya. Let's let's uh, uh, reform reform that behavior without getting into a state of like resentment or anger or moping or sulking and then and then I found I was able to easily reform certain behaviors like uh, and uh, and also not getting into a state of like you know pounding myself for having that behavior like basically like how could you have done that again like because if I, I found any time I did that, I wasn't able to change it. It's almost without exception. So any time I was able, like, any time I messed up or did something wrong and I was sort of harsh with myself, like, how could you have done that again? Or that was stupid, or that was, that was awkward, that was dumb. Or like uh, kind of using that methodology to try to force myself to not have that behavior in the future. It just doesn't work for me anyway never has but what does work is like uh like that positive coming from more of a positive sense like like let's do this let's learn this let's uh yes it's frustrating but let's let's keep moving forward with this and uh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happened uh and then not give rise to those negative emotions those negative mental states i found it's just like the progress just ends up being exponentially better than than getting into these states of like berating oneself and it's kind of counterintuitive because we would you know I think we kind of grow up in a culture where punishment is how you learn you only learn if they'll only learn if we punish them you know well they'll only learn if we you know teach them a lesson so uh, but that's you we even say that I'm gonna teach you a lesson you know, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> but uh, that's that's all that leads to is more kind of resentment and bad feelings. You know? <laughs> Don't really learn anything. But uh, but we can teach ourselves a lesson through uh, through that sense of just uh, positivity against all odds. You know, positivity at any cost. Just honesty, positivity. That's the that's the sila. That's the internalized sila, the composure of heart. So, uh, so that's kind of that seems to be more like how the training takes place is from that sense of positivity rather than from the from the kind of coming at it from a negative angle, trying to crush things down or or destroy that in us which we don't like, um, but rather rather to cultivate. That's why we call it cultivation. Cultivate and foster the kind of positive qualities and then whatever happened wherever we messed up just like taking note of it taking note of it and, and moving forward and seeing the suffering of it and moving forward so um, 
leave that for reflection this morning.